To be an artist is to take inspiration from the world around you, I think, and to turn it into something that people will admire or like cherish in their homes for a long time. I think with art, it's very different to buying products and so say, for example, a pair of shoes. I think a painting can be passed down into generations and can be cherished for a long time. Lots of my ideas come to me, for example, through the change of seasons. So my most recent abstract nature work has got more oranges and yellows in. Um, it really is from being outside, talking to people, um, seeing imagery that I love and kind of incorporating it into my work. It has been really, really important to my mental health throughout lockdown. Um, it kind of gave me a purpose in a way. Um, and I completely encourage other people to, even if they didn't feel like they were creative, to try and do something, um, pick up a paintbrush, just have a go, um, because it really does take you to another place. When I'm painting, I really don't think about anything else around me, so that was really great in lockdown. Uh, when people started buying my art, I was I was astounded, but it was really cool. Um, I think my New Year's resolution this year was to sell to at least one stranger. Um, so then when lockdown happened and I was selling to lots of strangers, I just couldn't believe that it happened. So in this way, lockdown was very good for my art um, in a very surreal time, so I'm very grateful for it. My advice to people wanting to swap from um, that job to a more creative thing like art would really be to go part-time first. Um, it was a really big step for me to decide to go part-time for my teaching. Um, I was like, is this right? Should I be doing this? But I knew I wanted to do this and even if it didn't go somewhere, I still had part-time work and I could go back to full-time at some point. Um, so I spent those days painting and really making the most of my time and just building up my portfolio and what I had, um, which was really helpful. So like, when things started to take off, I already had a bank of work and ideas and had already been working on things rather than starting from scratch. Um, and luckily things went the right way. Um, but I would say definitely maybe go part time or have something else that's more secure whilst you're working on your dream and then hopefully it will happen. When I applied to art school, I was really keen to go, but this was obviously not art, straight art school. This was after doing two degrees and a job for three years. Um, and I got through a few stages and then I got rejected. And I, I just remember sitting on the classroom floor at school crying, but um, obviously I think everything happens for a reason and that obviously wasn't my path for that time but it didn't stop me painting in my spare time it did hurt my ego for a little bit um but and you do have self-doubts but you just gotta push through them and if you really want something you just gotta believe in yourself the biggest surprise i found is the amount of admin the admin side of things when you think of a a job as an artist i thought i'd be painting all day like painting walls and everything, but it's actually a lot of admin. Um, you have to communicate with your customers a lot. Um, it takes, it's a lot of time getting pictures and videos and content for your work, um, collaborating with people. I didn't anticipate all of that. I didn't think an artist would get emails, but <laughs> I do get a lot of emails, but maybe I'm just not used to it. Um, um, I do have some exciting things coming up. I have a few collaborations. Um, one is with a woman who makes lovely handmade candles. So that's really exciting as I've always you know, thought about what other avenues there could be. I'm also working on um, a private project, but I can't reveal that yet. Um, but my biggest dream at the moment is to maybe someday get be part of a gallery viewing. Um, that's something I haven't done yet and something that I'd be really keen to do.